Hi, I'm Jim Merritt with Quick Trainer Incorporated, your QuickBooks and Accounting Experts. Today's instructional video centers around paying your sales tax liabilities properly in QuickBooks. Now in this case, things are a little different in that I'm making this instructional video specific for a client. So some of the things I'll discuss are not, uh, are not going to pertain to you but the concept, the basics are still the same and I'll try to point out some of those differences. So with that in mind, here we go. To begin the sales tax payment, we're going to go to Manage Sales Tax and from here I want you to click on your sales tax liability report. Now in this case, this particular sales tax has already been paid for the month of May. Uh, it's June 26 when I'm making this video and so I want to actually advance these numbers to the, the next month and we'll go to 6.30 and I, one thing I want to point out when you pay your sales tax it always assumes it being QuickBooks always assumes that you're paying last month's sales tax so you're paying the sales tax in the rears so it being June, it thinks we want to pay May sales tax. All right, I'm going to pretend like we're actually in July and we're paying June sales tax. Now, what you would typically see here are your total sales, your non-taxable sales, and this would typically not be a negative number, and then you get your taxable sales. So it's total sales minus non-taxable sales equals your taxable sales. This is a little reversed and it has to do with the way we're recording our sales receipts so we can't really pay attention to this number. Now we don't even actually in this situation the client doesn't even have non-taxable sales but some things that we're doing that are kind of unique create this number. So I would have this particular client just look at this number right here 17 so we'd look at 17,481.25. We would take 7% of that number, and it's going to equal 1223.69. And that was the thing I wanted to point out, is that we're always going to be about 1 to 2, maybe even 3 or 4 cents off here, which is why I'm having them manually calculate what 7% of this number is so that their sales tax report that they'll fill out online will be correct. All right, so with that number in mind, we're going to go back here and we're going to click on pay sales tax. And this is this is critical, guys, so hear me. This creates a sales tax payment type check, which is important to tracking your sales tax liability correctly. Um, I'll, again, I'll pretend like we're in December, um, December, in July and I'm going to advance this date through 6.30 and I'm going to click here or not click here, I'm going to type here and say online and the reason I do online is this particular client pays it online at the North Carolina Department of Revenue's website. I'll click here to say this is the sales tax I want to pay however again special circumstances for this client we're going to override this number with what it's supposed to be 1,223.69 being the amount we want to pay and then typically you would adjust for the the two cents that were off here okay we're not going to do it in this case again because of special circumstances but if you did you would click here and make the adjustment so then I'm going to click OK our sales tax liability payment has been created and it's recalculating this report in the background and then I'm going to show you the check that was just created and I want you to notice that it is a sales tax check a special type of check that was created here from here you would simply go to your um, state's website to file your sales tax or you could print this check or you could mail this check um, well if you printed it you would mail it obviously um, and I'll leave it up to you to follow the directions on how to pay it online um, at your, your particular state's sales tax reporting site. That's it. I hope you find this helpful. Again, my name is Jim Merritt with Quick Trainer, your QuickBooks and Accounting Experts. 
You can visit us on the web at www.quicktrainer.net or .biz, B-I-Z. Our number is 910-338-0488. Make it a great day.